back, I went to the Ames going on a business sale. And it's such a shame that Walmart is trying to take over the world. Anyway, I had to cash in on a 75% off and everything. And I bought myself a pair of pants, a shirt, a pair of shoes. Took it home and I was going to go out on a Friday night. And I looked at all the labels, you know. And nothing was made in the U.S. of A. And it really pissed me off. Because, you know, when I was growing up, you couldn't buy anything that wasn't made in the U.S. of A. I, I thought of a good question. Okay. Uh, who, who do you idolize like musically? Do you have any musical heroes? Yeah. It, it, it started out, I was influenced by my older sister and my mother who used to listen to 45s all the time. And the early 60s, late 50s, Motown stuff, Elvis, Roy Orbison, the Supremes, you know, of course, Little Anthony and Imperials, things like that. Uh, I used to love that stuff. And as I got a little older, I was really into Elvis, especially his dancing. I was inspired by that. Kind of like electric. It was like he was electrocuted or something, but I, I loved the way he danced. He moved his legs, you know? But he was a great singer. Now, now, Roy Orbison was a great singer too, but he had real thick glasses, you know? And I think that hurt his career. Elvis didn't have the glasses like that, you know? But then I saw the Beatles on Ed Sullivan. Oh my God, they took over my life. The Beatles were probably the biggest influence musically. After I got over the other stuff, the Beatles just kept coming out with new things, new styles, new sounds. They were recording geniuses. They were great in the studio. Anyway, it inspired me to write this song. These pants were made in China. that I'm wearing They were made in China And the shirt on my back Came from Pakistan And the shoes that I'm walking on Were made in Venezuela Sometimes I don't know where the hell I am We import 80% of everything we, we have now, so I was a little mad one day. I went to Ames going on a business sale, you know, bought some stuff, took it home. Nothing was made in the U.S. of A. and I thought about when I was a little kid how you couldn't buy anything that wasn't made here and how times have changed. So I looked at the label on my pants. And I said, you know, these pants were made in China. I could write a song about that. <laughs> and that's what happened. The rest is history. The rest is history. <laughs>
WRPI and WSPN. And uh, then uh, there was a few times when I got on some local AM and FM stations. And last year, I had a real big opportunity and a thrill to be on uh, the Joey Reynolds show, which is a, a late night talk show, which is aired coast to coast, over 200 stations. Yes, the Joey Reynolds show. I'm going to be on that again in a couple weeks. Looking forward to it. Played well, the Yankee song on the first couple of times I was on it. What was the first song of yours that you heard on the radio? I think it was called Saratoga Summer. Of course, it was about Saratoga. And uh, I mentioned Kathleen Lena in the song and Mary Lou Whitney and stuff. And I sent Mary Lou Whitney a copy of it, and she actually wrote me back and. She sent me an autographed copy of a book that her husband wrote, Sonny, Sonny Whitney, and uh, that was kind of cool. I was hoping that she'd have a check enclosed, you know, but there was no check, but she still thanked me for using her name in the song, so that was cool. seven trips up and down the stairs if you played at the second floor god forbid you know i got sick of carrying those drums around the guitarist didn't help you nah <laughs> they had all, all the chicks to worry about but <laughs> the drummer